Future Leaders is a program for finding and nurturing the world's most promising youth. Through a tested, well-researched and intense process, the Future Leaders are given access to high-impact leadership development coaching and opportunities. What we do in the Future Leaders program is take ordinary people, ordinary young people and train them to become leaders. And these are not just ordinary people, these are ordinary people with extraordinary commitment. And they come to the program, they undergo a process, they undergo mentoring and they create meaningful impact that the world really cares about. The impact is something that is their passion, what calls them. So who are future leaders? Future leaders are basically youth in high schools who have the potential to create meaningful influence on topics of relevance. Now these topics of relevance are based on the student's interest and passion and also current issues which affect people, communities, society and economy. Now to all the students who are watching this program, I have to tell you, passion is a key word. What are you really passionate about? What is that one social issue that calls you? Something that you see in your day-to-day -day life and always want to do something about. Now your passion could be music, sports, technology and the social issue could be mental health, gender equality, income enhancement. Now how do you combine your passion and your social calling and bring it together to do something that is very strong and can make the world a better place? Well, the Future Leaders program helps you do just that. The Future Leaders program is transformative and to see shy children, to see children who have internalized a program with such keenness of thought and mind and come forward and say, I want to make a change, I want to make a difference, I found my path and I'm going to make this grow into a bigger, larger program is so heartening. It's humbling because you realize that uh, when you just light a little fire, you can create something that is so gigantic and children making a statement about their cause and how they're going to change the world. Uh, you know you're doing the right thing and uh, you're leading them into a path that they are going to shine. I think that's what this Future Leader program is all about. Building the humanity from within oneself and impacting humanity. Now there are two tracks in the Future Leaders program. The first one is where the students undergo a 36 hour curriculum through classroom sessions. Now during these sessions, students are helped to identify their passion, understand the problem that they want to solve, ideate solutions, interview people, and finally come up with a solution that can be implemented on ground. They are also taught important skills called the skills of the future, future skills, or the fourth industrial revolution skills like empathy, emotional intelligence, storytelling, presentation, communication, etc. The second track is more like a summer school. It's an experiential and immersive experience where the students spend a few days, a few weeks in a village. You're tagged to a buddy in a village who is a youth from the village and together you both find and implement a solution for the problem faced by the village. So these problems are curated and you find solutions to these. Now for both the tracks, based on your work done, you're given a go for level two of the program. Level one of the program is all about the classroom process and implementing the project. Now level two is all about talking and showcasing your project. So level two is where the students are given different opportunities to showcase their work on a global platform like United Nations, the World Bank and TEDx Talks. Level 2 of the program involves a 3-day trip to New York. So now in New York, the students are given a number of opportunities to showcase their work in front of guests from New York and high-level delegates who are invited to a number of events like networking mixers and uh, panel discussions, interactive sessions. It also includes a visit to a university. And finally, the students present their work and share their views on various topics of relevance at the United Nations headquarters in New York in front of diplomats, ambassadors, delegates, guests, and a number of leaders from large corporations and foundations. So this is an incredible opportunity for the students to showcase their work and become an ambassador for the cause they believe in. The Future Leaders 1M1B program has been um, 
a fantastic opportunity for my child Siddhant who, uh, who is from grade 9 in TISB and this actually opened his mind to actually step out of home, uh, take a look at the problems uh, around uh, which are around him. Uh, Future Leaders has given him this opportunity and I hope uh, Future Leaders becomes uh, a part of a curriculum in many schools because it's very very important that we actually uh, students and children open their eyes who are part of the privileged society, open their eyes, step out into the real world and to see what they can do because being educated is just not enough. I think it's really important to step out and see how you can use your education to create an impact around the world. Uh, the 1M1B team, I think fantastic. Uh, I think they are the best teams that uh, the kids can get to work with, always available, great mentorship. Uh, the level of motivation that they provide, the insights that they provide, I think the kids have been really encouraged, they have learnt a lot. You know, the children point of view or what they have done, I think uh, nothing like it at this age. Uh, you learn how to communicate different problems, talk to very mature people, uh, how to get them to understand your problem, you know, how to get attention. I think it has been great uh, from a parent point of view. I think uh, it has uh, allowed me to understand my child also better uh, while they have worked through these complex projects and complex ideas. Uh, so I can tell you that uh, you know uh, the most comprehensive and the complete program um, that a child can aspire for at this age. The Future Leaders program is not a competition. We believe winners emerge. Winners emerge when they are they follow a process. Winners emerge when they are given standards and frameworks. So the Future Leaders program is based on this framework called the Super 7 framework. So all students have to follow the Super 7 framework. And when they follow the Super 7 framework, they emerge. They emerge as winners and are invited to prestigious platforms like the United Nations, like the World Bank, to showcase their impact. So what is the Super 7 criteria? Now, as you can see, these are the criteria that the students have to follow. If you follow uh, these guidelines, we believe winners will emerge and we would be more than excited to offer them global opportunities. Let's look at two of the points in this framework, which are my favorite. You should have impacted at least 10 people. If you really do something uh, which is meaningful, create impact in the lives of at least 10 people. A lot of young people who have gone through the program have done much more. They have done thousands, but the minimum requirement is make an impact in the lives of 10 people. And uh, let's look at this one, which is pivots. Now, you should have changed your project two or three times. That's what pivots mean. That means you should have changed your project. Now, if you are going out and creating impact for people, and when you go out, you will change. And if you're listening to people rather than talking, you will change. Now I have to give you a disclaimer here. Looking at the work done by some of the future leaders earlier, you might feel that these students are probably superstars or high achievers academically. But frankly, they were just teenagers just like you. They came into the program, followed a process, found their passion and were activated enough to go out and do some incredible work. Let me tell you, you can do such incredible impact too.